Welcome back everyone to Montgomery County's Engage at Home, brought to you by the County's Caregiver Support Program. Today we're going to be looking at the National Museum for African American History. It's one of my favourite Smithsonian institutions and I think for this time of COVID-19 and social distancing, this will be a wonderful opportunity to explore a museum that oftentimes is hard to get a ticket. But by visiting the Smithsonian website, you actually get front row seats to one of the most innovative and exciting museums based here in Washington, DC. So why don't we take a look at it? So here we are on the Smithsonian website. Up the top is the Smithsonian email uh, website address, which is SI period edu, and then the extension, which takes you to the African American Museum. I will include this web address on the Engage at Home site where you found this episode. So, here we are. Looking straight forward, we see the museum. And unfortunately, events are all cancelled for now. But if we look under collections sampler and exhibitions, we actually get to view an amazing collection that is in the National Museum of African American History. So I'm just going to scroll down and we'll, we'll visit a few. So here we have here, taking the stage. Let's have a look at this. This takes you to a gown worn by the character Glinda in The Good Witch in The Wiz, tells you information about it, and it's part of their permanent collection. Here we have the front cover of Black Sports magazine, and it was the first cover of their first edition. So as you can see, by clicking on each of these links, it actually takes you to images that are in the collection and it provides you with a full description of that image and allows you to enjoy it close up without having to do all the walking and to fight your way through the crowds. So let's have a look at a little bit more on what is on this website. So this is the collection sampler section and it goes on and on. But now let's have a look at exhibitions. So the exhibition section is specific regarding um, a collection that is on display. So for those of you who haven't visited the museum, it is one of the most scintillating and engaging exhibition venues in the country. It is very immersive and it truly is something that um, changes your life once you visit it. But like we've said, during COVID, we can't necessarily go in and visit. So let's have a look at a little bit more of the shows. One of the best ways that I found to view the collection at the National Museum of African American History and Culture is through this section here, which is collection search results. It's a little difficult to find. So what I'm going to do is include this link in the Engage at Home website. 
So over on the left hand side here, I've actually set this search up. So you're viewing the full list of how you then can choose how to view the collection. I'm going to scroll down slowly so you can see that this is incredibly expansive. Um, it goes through both the medium and the subject matter. So we start out with over 8,000 photographs, um, over 5,000 um, objects that are associated with the American South. We have um, 9,026 objects devoted to politics, and it just goes on. Instruments and musicians, 491. United States history, 1969 to 2001. Just keeps on going. Musical theater, 132. So you can see that as we get further down the bottom, it gets to a smaller number. Then you can actually have the search under a specific name of someone who you're interested in searching. So this lists every single person that they have sub cross listed as being part of their connection. So it's a very long list. And then object type. Object type is what the object or the item is. So I'm just going to click on more so we see that entire list. Starting with photography is the highest number. And it just keeps on going down into, and I'm sorry that this is going on forever. We're almost to the bottom. And then I'm not going to open any further, but we've got dates and you can open that and expand it. Place, you can open that and expand it. Keeps on going. It's very exhausting. But what is fabulous is what the um, collection then can reveal. So let's click on communities. And at this point, we're still seeing photographs, but let's say we, we'd like to look at something else that's not photographs. So under our selected type, let's have a look now under say prints. So it's still photographic prints, but it's really taken that down to something that's more contemporary. Under this category of community, it takes you through a large selection of images and objects that really do capture a lot of the strength of this collection. By clicking on the actual image, that then takes you into the actual image itself. It tells you who took the photograph, who is the subject of the photograph, where it actually was taken. And then a little bit of a description. Um, it's one of the most beautiful things about the museum collection that you can take the time to examine these objects in infinite detail without the challenges of the busy crowds. And as we can see under object type, Photographs are the lion's share and anything that is a digital medium really takes up the lion's share of the collection. But that doesn't mean that's everything that's there. So let's have a look at baskets. Something that's three dimensional, not just something that was a, a photograph and or a print. So here we have some beautiful text, textiles baskets that are um, made within the community. It gives you all the history about them. Absolutely beautiful items. And as with all of the collection, you can click on it. 
read more about it, learn where it was made, learn about the artists. This was created by Mary A. Jackson. If you get sick of trying to select something and it interests you, you can type it in. Instruments is something that I think the museum has an incredible collection of. So here we have photographs. We actually have instruments themselves. This one's a popular one. This is the Hammond B3 organ that um, was owned by James Brown himself. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Another collection that they have at the National Museum of African American History and Culture are their costumes, the costumes from theater, also from music. So I'm just gonna scroll down and show you just a few of the incredible costumes they have. And a large percentage of these are um, from shows that we have all seen or at least uh, love ourselves. So we have a lot of costumes here from The Wiz. Look at that, the Tin Man's costume from The Wiz, that's awesome. And then here we have um, costumes from uh, music, Bootsy Collins. Oh, here we got, the, this is actually a contemporary one. Um, look at this, the costume that was um, just recently got back into the cinema. It's a little hard to see because of the background, but this was designed in night by um, an amazing artist. And this is a beautiful um, costume of the Black Panther. And look at this one, this fabulous costume that Jermaine Jackson wore in those fabulous Jackson Five days. Uh, for all of those who remember one of Flip Wilson's characters, Geraldine, look at this fabulous gown. I made it even simpler for myself. I typed in the word objects. And so this is just collected a grab bag of various objects. This is fascinating. This is inside of James Baldwin's house. It's an interesting mantle that he had there. Some things are quite tragic, some things are uplifting. So one of the things that is quite incredible about this collection is that you can just very simply go through and enjoy this museum based on your interests or what the museum helps to curate for your tour. So here we are back at the main page. As I mentioned, I will put a link on how to explore in that minutia way. But you could just simply start here with the collection sampler. It allows you to look at the full collection based on individual images. You can also click on the exhibitions. And so that will take you through to images and collections that are focused on various curated items. I do encourage you to take the time to enjoy this Smithsonian Museum, the National Museum of African American History and Culture. And in other episodes, we will have a look at other Smithsonians that you can also have an armchair view of.
Thank you for joining us today for Montgomery County's Engage at Home. If you do require immediate assistance as a caregiver, please contact the county's Ageing and Disability Services on 240 777 3000. Go well, keep happy, healthy, engaged and calm. Be well.